Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Polish Mathematical Olympiad first round 1992 uh, problem number four yes it's because uh, Polish the Polish Mathematical Olympiad has three rounds uh, first takes place at the end of the year and the next two rounds are in the next year so it's addition 92 slash 93. We wish to find all functions f from the set of real numbers into itself such that f of x plus y minus f of x minus y equals f of x times f of y for all real numbers x and y. So it's a rather simple problem. Here are my hints. First, set x and y to be 0 to find f of 0. Then set x to be 0 to show that our function is even, then set x to be y, and finally y to be minus x, and compare the two results uh, which you get. So give this problem a try, and I will see you in just a minute. Alright, so as I suggested, let's start by s with setting x and y to be 0. What then? Then, on the left-hand side, we have f of 0 minus f of 0, which is 0, and that equals f of 0 squared, which means that f of 0 is 0. Let's keep it in mind. All right. Now, let's set something else. Now, let's just set x to be 0. Then... Then we have the following. If just x is 0, then we have f of y minus f of minus y equals, and on the right hand side we have f of x times f of 0, but f of 0 is 0, so it's just 0. Or, in other words, f of y equals f of minus y. That is, our function is even. Then, let's set y to be x. What then? Then we have on the following. On the left hand side we have f of 2x plus f of 0 but minus f of 0 but f of 0 is 0 and that equals f of x quantity squared. All right and now let's finally let's finally set y to be minus x. And what then? Well, then, let's take a look. If y equals minus x, we have the following. f of 0 minus f of 2x equals f of x times f of minus x. f of x times f of minus x. But remember that our function is even, so f of minus x can be replaced just by f of x. Because our function is even. Because f is even. Alright, but now, and of course that can be written as f of x squared. Now let's compare this line with this line, we see that for every real number x, f of 2x equals, well, minus f of 2x, which of course means that our function is constantly zero, i.e. f is constantly zero. And it's very easy to verify that, in fact, this is the solution. So the only solution The only solution is function which is constantly, constantly zero. And that closes our problem. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.